The storm now headed straight for the Carolinas, and as we've been telling you, it has now been upgraded back to a hurricane. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees joining us now to show us the type of storm surge that we could see here. So now we know that the storm is now, it was downgraded, but it's back up in strength. Yeah, Carolyn, it happens often, right, when the storm moves right back over land. But we wanted to give you some perspective here of what this could mean for storm surge along the Carolina coast. And of course, one of the big areas we know, right, we vacation there, folks coming in from out of town, Charleston, South Carolina. Just to give you some perspective, Charlotte is about 750 feet above sea level. Charleston's only eight. So this is kind of a simulation here from NOAA that kind of gives you a better idea of what the storm surge could look like. So we're actually going to take the slider here. Uh, this is in an area of Charleston. You can kind of see the home with a few folks out there. So if we rise it to about one to two feet of storm surge, three, four, you can see, right, coming up to some of these guys' knees here, uh, you do it even more so though getting closer to five six seven and eventually even eight feet at that point of course it's above people's heads right and all the way up toward those buildings now that of course in the charleston area as we travel a little bit further north many folks right go into places like Polly's Island, Myrtle Beach. Similar story here. You can see Polly's Island Town Hall. If we got up to eight, nine, ten uh, feet of storm surge, similar to what folks were dealing with with Fort Myers and Cape Coral, that would be essentially all the way halfway, if not all the way up toward the top there of the Polly's Island Town Hall. So storm surge, of course, a big, big impact. We talk about it a lot. It's not just how much storm surge we see, right? It's the force of the water coming inland combined with that wind. And that's going to be along the coast, but here in the Charlotte area. I know Brad's been talking about it a lot. Inland flooding and the potential for those high wind gusts. WCNC Charlotte weather team and of course the rest of our team anchors reporters. We got you covered. We'll get you through it here as we head through the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. All right. We know you guys will be watching it.